Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integer n, the n integers, and the digit d, and print the largest integer having unit digit d among the n integers. And if there are no such integers, then it must print minus one as the output. Now we'll take our first test case. So. In this test case, we have six integers, and the digit d is two. Now we'll mark the unit digit for each integer. So five ninety two it is two, and then for four thousand two fifty one it is one, and then for eighty five it is five, and seven or two we have two, and then two and seven we'll have. Seven and ninety-two will have the unit as it as two. Now among these integers, we have to find the digit integer with the unit digit two. So we have five ninety-two, seven not two, and then ninety-two. So among these, we have to print the largest integer that is seven not two, which will be our output. Now we'll take our another test case. So in this test case, we have nine integers, and the d is digit five. And the unit digit for each integer is this, and then thirty-seven. It is seven. Then sixteen. It is six. Forty-nine. It is nine. Then we have eight, and then we have twenty-six. So. We have no integer with the unit digit as five, so we must print minus one as the output. Now we'll understand our logic of this program. The logic is first we have to sort the given n integers, and then We have to print the integer with a unit digit same as the digit d. Before that, we will iterate. We should iterate n integers in reverse order. And if we have no unit digit same as d means we are going to print minus one as the output. Now let us implement our program. First, we'll get the integer n, and then we'll get the n integers as array list, and then after getting the n integers, we'll get the digit d. That is. D is equal to int of input of 
and then after getting all our inputs now we should sort them so array list uh, sort of now after sorting we have to use the for loop as we have to iterate from the reverse order so for current value in array list in reverse if the current value is or uh, current value unit digit that is current value mod 10 is equal to equal to d means we have to print the current value and use break else we have to print minus 1 as the output now let us execute our program we will pass our first this case so yes we have got the correct output 702 now we will pass our second test case here also we have got the correct output that is minus 1 Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.